We're talking to Cody Chamberlain. How are you, Cody? I'm good. I'm good. Good. You're the artist of one of my favorite new books, Punk's The Comic. It's one of my favorite new books, too. That's good. <laughs> That's convenient. Yeah. Because it if you thought it sucked, that'd be bad. Well, you know, it is a very high-quality book. How could I not like it? And, you know, I, I, I think you're coming from a little bit of the uh, David Mack collage comic mindset with this one. You're really starting to branch off and starting to experiment, and I like it. I like to think that David Mack is coming from a more punks comic look. You know? Right. Yeah. Because he's been no, doing I it for David ten. Mack. I'm, yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, if, if anyone's curious about the influence, uh, check yeah. out guys like Art Chantry, okay. uh, the, the guys that were doing a lot of the punk rock and grunge flyer stuff. Uh, oh, that's okay. really that's there really where the influence came from. And we actually have an interview in the book with Art Chantry Very about nice. about his techniques, about his approach. Um, and and he loved the book. So. Does it have pictures with word balloons in it? Because there, that's really the only form of. Uh, there are pictures and there are word balloons. Yes. Well, in punks. Yes. And yeah, of course. Yeah. But not in Art Chantry's work. Okay, that's right. what I'm worried about. Right. No, but dude, you're doing some amazing art here. You did a great piece for the Heroes for Heroes live art show yesterday. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. That was fun. Dolomite, yeah. did a Dolomite piece. Nice. Yeah. And uh, you did that with uh, you collaborated with Philip Sablik. Yes. The vice president of marketing for Top Cow. It's, it's true. Kind of came out of left field. I, I wasn't expecting I have a call. that. Should I take it? Uh, yeah. All right, I'll call back. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. call back. That's you fine. don't want to talk to that guy. What, what, what's what's um, the future? What's the future for uh, Cody and punks? Oh, we just did a new issue right over there. Nice. The uh, Christmas book. Yeah. Christmas it may or may book. not come out before <laughs> Christmas. The Punk Save Christmas. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I gotta tear into that. And, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really fun, man. We have a Brian Reed interview, and uh, the interview is hilarious as usual. Of course. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun book. There's a couple little short stories in there as well this time. You're little on excerpts. You are on the Beowulf bandwagon. I am, yes. But this the, this one actually looks fantastic. Uh, this this Beowulf is from Harper Collins. It's uh, from <laughs> Harper. Harper Tarch, which is their young reader line, so, so cool. it's kid friendly. That's so cool. Yeah. And but it looks intense at the same time. It, it, yeah, I think it's going to scare the kids, but they can still read it. Dude, I want you to continue being one of my favorite artists. So you know, no pressure. But I want to uh, thank you for uh, for keeping me up late night while I'm working on deadlines. Hey. Yeah, I listen to Fanboy. I pretty much listen to every show. I'll Thanks. take that. And I also want to yeah. show what, what he's fueled on, because this is a big bag of Twinkies. I was sitting by him while oh, he was drunk. Cody Chamberlain. Uh, a big bag of Twinkies. Oh, you disgusting slob! Oh man, it's true. Oh, man. It's actually hers. <laughs> She's responsible. I'm not eating it. I just brought it. Yeah. She's just the supplier. I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. <laughs> Twinkie hookup. Don't blame her. On that note, Cody Chamberlain, thank you so much <laughs> for your time. For, thanks on for asking me to be on your show. Mm -hmm.